Now to your top 10 headlines in just two minutes. Modesto police have arrested 15-year veteran officer Daniel Phillips on allegations of domestic abuse. The interim police chief says police have to be held to the highest standards. Sacramento firefighters worked hard to save this home on El Cerrito Way after a fire started inside the attached garage around noon. The good news is no one was hurt. New surveillance videos showing a terrifying shooting inside the San Antonio International Airport in April. The gunman jumps from his car and opens fire before being shot by police and then taking his own life. The officer who stopped this saved a lot of lives. The current Department of Justice now investigating former President Trump's Department of Justice. New documents show the previous DOJ seized communications data from at least two top Democratic members of Congress. Uh, it's hard to express just how shocking an abuse of power this really is. Three people are dead after a chain reaction crash in Phoenix involving a bus, a person, and multiple cars. Police say a man carjacked a woman and ran a red light minutes later, killing a mother and her two teenage daughters. The teen who recorded the death of George Floyd on her phone received a special citation Pulitzer Prize today. The board says Darnella Frazier's courage highlighted the crucial role of citizens. A lobster divers got a whale of a tail after getting swept up in a humpback whale's mouth. He eventually made it out with a broken leg. I just got hit by it felt like a Mack truck. President Biden announced today he will donate 500 million doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to 92 lower income countries as part of a global vaccination effort. We're going to make it clear that the United States is back. California Attorney General Rob Bonta filed a brief along with 23 other senators urging the Supreme Court to extend the CDC eviction moratorium. It's set to expire at the end of the month, putting more than 40 million renters at risk of eviction. Sacramento native LeVar Burton is reminiscing on social media. Today he tweeted, still blows my mind. My hometown did this two years ago today. That's the day Burton had a Sacramento City Park named in his honor. Those are your top 10 headlines in just two minutes.